know, I've played a lot of fighting games in the day, from Tekken to Killer Instinct, but today I'll be talking about two of my personal favorites, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. I'll admit that I love both franchises equally. Both franchises have excellent gameplay, a huge cast of memorable characters, and both are financially successful. But that's where the similarities end, and in this video I'll be going over the series I'm more familiar with, Street Fighter. As mentioned in my Street Fighter review, the series began in 1987 with the game Street Fighter. This game introduced us to Ryu, Ken, Sagat, and Birdie. Now I'm not going to do the entire franchise as that would take way too long. To make a long story short, Street Fighter's popularity really began in 1991 with Street Fighter 2. Now hang on a minute, I remember seeing a flyer for a game called Street Fighter 89. It turned out that ended up being Final Fight, something entirely different but also made by Capcom. I'll review that game another time. Anyways, Street Fighter 2's popularity in 1991 only means one thing, sequels. Yep, lots and lots of sequels. While most of the games retain the core gameplay, other games introduce new mechanics. You can check out the reviews if you want the details. Going back to sequels, it seemed that Capcom spewed out sequel after sequel each year in the arcades, and some weren't as well received as others. Maybe people got tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. While I do admit later Street Fighter games tried to refresh the series, it wasn't enough. I can understand that Capcom wanted to start fresh, but it's also like trying to reinvent the wheel. I will give them credit for giving us the Alpha series, but the real question is, has the damage been done? I don't think so. Alpha, in my opinion, gave the series the fresh start it needed. Alpha also serves as a bridge of sorts. It seemed that after a nine year hiatus, we were introduced to Street Fighter 4. And boy did this game deliver. Unlike the original games, this just got a fancy makeover over the years until Street Fighter 5. Meaning the game added more characters and the title got altered from Street Fighter 4 to Super, which was upgraded to Arcade and finally Ultra. I could go on and on, but you get the idea. Next time we look at Mortal Kombat.